Okay, now we will go ahead and try our next program, AVI DMUX. And AVI DMUX has worked in situations that I've used before. It has been able to to fix the, the video. Um, in this case, we're going to see that uh, that AVI DMUX isn't going to be able to help us here. Uh, it says AVI fail. So AVI DMUX, even though we transferred the headers over in this particular situation, AVI DMUX isn't going to help us out. But with with different videos that I've used using this same method with the hex editor, AVI DMUX has worked for me. I'm not sure why in this situation it's not going to. But we'll move on to DivFix++. Go ahead and add our edited AVI. We'll check for errors. And DivFix++ um, reports that there are no errors, but we want to but we want to save it as a new file anyway. We want to run it through DivFix anyway, and it'll, even though it doesn't appear to see the errors, it will it will fix them. So I want to leave these two things over here selected. Keep the original file because I want it to create a new file. I don't want it to write over the the other the uh, the original. Okay. So we'll test our video with. Okay, and it's working. So, DivFix++ was also able to to uh, to reindex this video once we got the headers transferred over. Okay, now we'll move on to our command line tools, and we're going to do the, it's we're doing the same thing. We're just making a copy of the video, and we'll let the We'll let the encoder. Um, we're simply letting the encoder re-index it. So we'll go ahead and use uh, M encoder and put our edited AVI. We will give it the um, the IDX flag. Now I've I've done it without using the IDX flag. It seemed to work just fine. But it's probably a good idea to either use the IDX flag or the force IDX, as that tells it to explicitly to to re-index the video if that is indeed what the what the problem is it it it, um, it could be something else but it seems to be that's what the problem is is it needs to be re-indexed okay we'll tell it to copy the the video and tell it to copy the audio and we will call it fix mencoder dot avi Okay, I made a little error here. Um, I input the wrong flag. So I'll go ahead and redo that. Shouldn't be OVA. The flag should be OAC. Okay, just a little. Okay, so now it seems to be encoding. Okay, we're copying, so it seems to have finished. We'll check our video, and it's playing. So once we got those headers transferred over, M Encoder was able to uh, to fix this this video. Okay, so we'll move on to our to our final program, which is uh, FFmpeg. It doesn't have. I couldn't find any any indexing flag in the in the documentation, so I don't think it has one. We'll tell it to copy the video and copy the audio, and we'll call this one fix ffmpeg.avi. Okay, seems to have finished. Test out our AVI. Okay, we see that Windows Media Player is still unable to open the video produced by FFmpeg. However, if we open it with VLC Media Player, we see that it is working. So I'm not sure exactly what happens here, but um, but for some reason uh, Windows Media Player still isn't able to open it. So in this case, um, our best options 
after we get the headers transferred over, our best options are probably virtual dub, divfix plus plus, or M encoder. So I hope this video has been helpful for anybody that's dealing with broken video files and needs to needs to recover a video. I, I know that this probably won't work in all situations, but um, I have tested it a few times and it appears to be a pretty good fix. So I hope this is helpful for anybody who needs it.